What's up, man? What's up? Okay, welcome to Farm Services. Aquaculture plus hydroponics equals aquaponics. Basically, it's a combination of raising fish or crustaceans and growing plants alongside. A cycle is created where plants get nutrients from the fish's waste, and the fish in turn get clean water. Gordon Tam, co-founder and CEO of Farm 66, first explored its possible applications in Hong Kong during his studies. Technically, farming wasn't permitted in industrial buildings. But in 2017, the policy changed. And since opening in 2013, they've received various awards, grants, and even a patent for their innovation and environmental practices along with a growing customer base. Farm 66 explored wavelength technology using colored energy efficient LED lights to optimize their growing cycle. At their new facility in Taipo, they've dedicated 20,000 square feet to growing. But since they farm vertically, they've managed to create a growing space of 200,000 square feet, which currently at half capacity yields approximately 100 tons of produce per year, according to Gordon. Everything is tightly monitored and digitally managed, and I'm getting a tour of it all. But not before we prep for the sanitary environment so as to keep pests and pathogens away. All right, I think we got this. Ah, don't close the door on me. <laughs> this area for the uh, ceiling. So uh, before the tra uh, we transfer the uh, the punch to the, to our system, we replace all the all the ceiling in here, and you can see a lot of uh, different kind of uh, lettuce here. Not constrained by the seasons. A variety of salad greens like endives, romaine, and coral lettuce are grown year-round, along with different types of cherry tomatoes, parsley, and oregano. After two weeks, seedlings are moved, shall we say, into the field. This, this area, we have uh, three different kinds of uh, lighting for right. the demonstration about the uh, wavelength technology. The, the blue one, the leaf is thicker, right? So these blue leaves are larger. Yeah, the larger one. And this one, the red one, is very thin, not, not, not big. I'm not sure if it's difficult for you guys to see, yeah. but they're quite small. And the white one, uh, you can see the, the color, color of the uh, is very light. So that means the, the nutrition is not very well. But it's not all about the lights. It's time to meet the other partner in this symbiotic relationship, the fish. 最主要營養在哪裡來的,其實就是魚菜共生。即是講到魚菜共生這個技術,其實就不是一個新的技術,通常近時種菜,隔離都有個魚塘。但是今時今日,種菜的地方隔離通常都不是魚塘。The primary fish species of choice is the tilapia. On a smaller scale, goldfish can also get the job done. The ammonia-rich fish waste is converted by bacteria into nitrites, and then nitrates, which plants happily absorb as nitrogen. So we're inside their demo aquaponic container that they have here. This is where they do a lot of their R&D on site. They can use different wavelengths to test out how it impacts growth rate as well as flavor. And they can also use different filtration systems, do a bit of experimentation and see what works best for the different crops that they have here. And if you're thinking of experimenting with aquaponics, uh
So there you go, our time today here at Farm 66. Corey, thanks a lot, man. Oh, thanks. thanks Appreciate, for it. Yep. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Happy growing. We'll see you next time. Bye.